I'm happy to introduce you to a great American family. The parents had 14 children. It's my honor to tell you about each of them, from the eldest to the youngest. They represent the backbone of our country. Each has contributed to our society as remarkable citizens and families of strong faith. Jelma was an outstanding builder in his own right, and along with his wife, Elmi, raised in a very hardworking family. Jelma was a local politician and never met a stranger, a great personality. Elmi had a real heart for alcoholics and was a nurse by profession. Their legacy was their fine family. I can appreciate Dave's stage presence. He loved being in front of an audience. I can relate to that. He had an outstanding voice and could charm a crowd with his singing. He was well-spoken and knew a lot of things. He was very interesting to talk to, a real communicator. Not sure how many children Doug and Donna have, but it's a lot, not to mention the grands and great-grands. She's a very dedicated gal, and Doug has a tremendous commitment to his faith. I can relate to having a full plate, and they are a power couple. I love Ruthie, she's a good egg. Her deceased husband was my kind of guy, a real straight shooter. Not so sure about this Pete fella she's dating, but you never know when Barbie's Ken came around. He had a sketchy background, but turned out to be a solid citizen. As Barbie says, time tells no lies. You know, Glady is a force to be reckoned with. No one knew better than her husband, Lizzie. What a tough loss. Glady takes a firm stand and doesn't let anyone get her off message. She would have made a great running mate I could depend on her to have by back, for sure. You know, I'm notorious for not getting a lot of sleep, and Philly is the same way. I'm sure Kenny went to bed early because he got up at the crack of dawn as a house painter. I'm sure he's missed. Philly got herself a new fella, and they didn't waste time tying the knot. They're like two peas in a pod. This guy, Carl, is someone I can utilize on my building sites. He's such an idea man whose brain never stops, and he's like a jack of all trades. His wife, Diane, is amazingly insightful, too, and such a great hostess. You should see when they get decked out for the evening. You know, I met Fred, got a picture. So sad to hear about Deb's loss. You can picture Deb on the back of his bike. Full life well lived. I lost his heaven's gate. One of the coolest dudes I've ever met. He was one of a kind. What a talented family Dennis and Judy have. Have you heard their kids sing? It goes down to generations, too. They are very dedicated to their family. I can relate because family is everything to me as well. They're definitely the good, good guys. We need more folks like them, and I wish them the best. Some things are just meant to be. Barbie and Ken were brought together after tremendous heartbreak individually. Ken loves living in a Barbie world. They can't help but chuckle at Providence with a wink and a nod, giving him such a high profile brand to live up to. I want to give a big shout out to Wayne and Lori Hillman, who lost their son a number of years ago and showed great resilience relying on their faith. They are an inspiration and have a wonderful family who are very loving and supportive of each other as it should be. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the beautiful place Jeff is building, but it has the most impressive rock climbing wall. His floors are gorgeous. The whole house is a real work of art. His wife, Pat, is awesome, and they love being grandparent parents, which I can relate to very much. You know, I've been told I'm very generous, but I don't have anything on Alan and Uni because they are always helping someone. Actually, I want to be them when I grow up because they're such an example of what the American spirit is about, helping your neighbor, not expecting anything. I can certainly relate to Mark and Amy having great get-togethers because I've got a big place where people enjoy each other's company. They are great hosts because they put their heart into it for family and friends. I like to think I do that as well. We definitely have that in common. What can you say about Walt and Mary? They're the best. Walt's so easy to talk with and has some great stories. Mary is a go-getter. If I needed something done quickly and fast, she'd be at the top of my hire list for sure. High quality couple. So there you go. Now enjoy the 10 sisters harmonizing the tune they sang at their, their mother's funeral. And don't ever forget how important family is.